After I posted this video of the single channel ESP8266 ESP01 Wi Fi relay with FR Probe, a lot of people found it very easy to use for home automation. So I ordered these two channel ESP8266 ESP01 relay model from AliExpress. Since it will take a couple of weeks before it is delivered, I am going to make one with what I currently have. The two relays can be operated independently with the Remote XY app like the single channel one. I have here the regular 5V two channel relay model with an Opto isolator. An ESP01 adapter model that regulates 5V connected to the VCC and GND to 3.3V required by the ESP01. The other two pins are the TX and RX pins, which we will use to control the relays. The ESP01 model itself will go into the 8 pin header on the board. And of course, a 5V power source. So here is how they come together. The TX and RX pins on the ESP01 adapter model go to the in one and in two terminals of the relay model. A 5 volt DC power supply goes to the VCC and GND of both models. Two lamps are connected to a 110 or 220 volt AC power supply neutral line and to the respective NO1 and NO2 terminals of the relay model. The COM1 and COM2 terminals are then connected to the AC power supply live. But before the ESP01 is left on the adapter model, we will plug it into the ESP01 programmer and program it with FL Probe. Let us start the programming in remotexy.com. First of all, configure the Wi Fi access points. Select the ESP8266 based port the Wi-Fi on chip model, and the FL Prog IDE. Set the smartphone orientation view to horizontal. Drag two labels to the screen and change their text to Relay 1 and Relay 2. Place and resize two edit fields below the labels and change their input type to integer. Place three push switches below the first edit field and another three push switches below the second edit field. Then set their default display status to off. Select the first push switch and change the draw type to ellipse. Also change the switch off caption to off delay. Do the same for the push switch below the second edit field. The next two sets of push switches should also be changed to ellipse draw type, but their switch on caption should be on delay. The final set will have their switch on caption as blink on and their switch off caption as blink off. You can resize and rearrange the elements as required. And that will do. Just click on the Get Source Code button to copy the code for FL Prog IDE. In FL Prog, I will create a new FBD project for the ESP01 and enable the Wi Fi access point with 2CH ESP01 relay network name and IP address of 192.168. Dot zero, dot one. I will bring in the remote XY block and paste the remote XY code here. Just make sure that the push switches in the output window are arranged in ascending order. Now I will bring in two timer blocks, a generator block and an OR block. The first timer block is changed to an OFF delay timer type with an external delay input. The second timer block is left as an on delay timer with external delay input. While the generator type is set to a symmetrical multi-vibrator with external pulse length input. 
The EN inputs of the blocks are then connected to the push switch outputs 1, 2, and 3 of the remote XY block. While the delay inputs of the blocks go to the edit 1 output, the up block input should be increased by 1 and connected to the outputs of the timers and generator blocks. Now I will duplicate these blocks and connect them to the remaining inputs of the remote XY block. Finally, I will create two digital relay output tags for the TX and ROX pins of the ESP01 and connect them to the output of the all blocks. In compiling the project, the file size mapping defined by hardware and sketch option should be selected. The reset method should be set to DTR, aka node MCU, and the comp selected before the code is uploaded into the ESP01. Now we can insert the ESP01 back into the adapter model and power up the circuit. Notice that both relays click and the lamps blink once when the board is powered up. This is caused by the ESP01 during booting. If you don't mind that, we can go ahead and connect to the Remote XY app. Connect your smartphone to the ESP01 hotspot. Open the Remote XY app and add a new device. Select Wi-Fi points. Impute 6377 as the port number and connect to the ESP01. Oops, we can only use the free license version of the app for just 30 seconds because we have used more than 5 elements to make our interface. We will have to activate the pro version to use an unlimited number of elements. Here we go. When you buy the pro license, the 30 second time limit is removed. You can independently set the delay values for each relay and operate their off delay, on delay, and blink buttons. Now we have the two channel ESP01 relay operated with the Remote XY app. Thanks for watching. Please support this channel by clicking on the thanks button and get the components used in this video with the AliExpress links in the description. Also hit the like button if this video is helpful and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to. See you in the next video.